Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. How do you build confidence in your players? Yeah, so one of our things that we really try and emphasize is we want to be positive coaches as much as possible. So much of what we have to do in our teaching is correction and, you know, that needs to be done this way and that's not the right way to do it. And uh, But we really want to strive for being positive whenever we get an opportunity. So that means reinforcing good things. So whenever you see something that's that's done right, to celebrate that, to measure that. Um, I think a good phrase that I've heard over the years is, Things that get measured get done. Um, so we don't have the the huge staffs that you know some some large high major division one schools do. Uh, we may have a bigger staff than a lot of high schools do. So we're somewhere in, in between. But we want to try and measure as many things as we can. So we've got uh, things that we chart, ways that we display it, ways that we present it, ways that we celebrate it um, to try and reinforce the things that we think are important and and want to get done. And that hopefully then allows us to not dwell on and focus on the negative. So that going back to, you know, how do you, how do you reinforce confidence? Well, we want to build into guys the things that you do well. So instead of saying, you know, so-and-so don't dribble, so-and-so catch and shoot or, or move the ball. You're such a good shooter. You know, be ready to shoot it when you catch. If not, you know, pass and cut. Get yourself open, you know, with your movement. So you're emphasizing the things that they do well and that you want them to do rather than the things that they don't do well and you don't want them to do. Mm. Now, sometimes, you know, it's, it's not, they're not catching it. And so you still have to say the negative things sometimes. And, but our goal is to not make people um, afraid of the things they can't do, but bold in the things that they can do. And to really get ownership in, hey, this is your strength. Do that. Do this really well. Yeah. You know, some guys are are special at different things. Some things get celebrated naturally, socially, communally, um, that aren't the whole picture of basketball, but it's the stuff that makes the, you know, we're not on sports center that often, but you got your sports center, you got your and even just walking the halls in high school, you know, who scored the most points? Everybody's seeing that. Well, who set the screen to get that guy open? Who made the pass to get that guy open? You know, who's doing the the other things that make that happen? Can we celebrate those things so that people are, are recognizing that? I think that breeds confidence. Um, and then, you know, if we can measure those things, show those things, we, we've got a 2K board on our, our wall that is like the NBA 2K video game. You know, they they announced the the ratings, you know, LeBron James gets it. Well, we we measure a bunch of stuff. And then we put we rank all the guys and then we've got ratings. And so the the hope is that the bottom guy that's maybe not getting as much playing time is able to see himself move up from the 14th to the 13th spot or the 13th to the 12th spot. He's got some motivation to, hey, if I can just work on these things, I can I can improve and you can see it. Um, and and the guys at the top. Hey, I want to I want to stay at the top. You know, you need to keep doing these little, quote unquote, little things. Um, to, to maintain, you know, what we expect, you know, we expect all these things to be done, not just the guy that, that scores all the points, which is an important part of basketball. Somebody needs to score some points. Um, but there's a lot of things that go into that. So emphasizing the things they do well, um, measuring the things that we want done so that we can, we can reward and celebrate the good rather than dwelling on the negative all the time um, and allow us to be, be more positive coaches. I think that's, those are things that we try and do, and I, I, I found to be somewhat effective. I think it's a great reminder for us to focus on so, so many of those don't statements. If we take a second and, and, and think our way through it, we could easily switch it to a do statement. Mm -hmm. but, the, but that is received so differently in our players. The don't statements can put them in a box can cripple or, or affect their confidence in a negative way, can, can affect the relationship between coach and player. The do mm -hmm. statements, like you said, are a way, and I'm not talking pie in the sky, everybody's great and, and nobody makes mistakes, but teaching from that positive stance, mm -hmm. uh, I think you allow them to 
take more chances, uh, be more creative, more courageous, like you said, or bold. I dig that. Yeah, that's a good point, too, because part of building confidence is you've got to not freak out with every mistake. You know, there's certain things we can't allow to continue, but mistakes are going to happen. So us as coaches have got to to expect that, allow some room for that, particularly in practice, particularly early in the season. Not that it doesn't get corrected, but not in a demeaning way. Like, you know, we, we've got to learn from this. You know, we've got to view ourselves as teachers um, and not um, not demean players yeah. for mistakes. But you, ex- mistakes are going to come. Yeah. We, we've got to play through that. I've yet to see a game at any level that's 100 to zero. You know, we're not we're not holding anybody to zero. That's not the way this game is 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 played. Um, so we, we need to not be surprised by that and allow some room for that, especially with young guys. You know, this is going to happen. That's that's OK. It's part of the process. Majority of mistakes aren't coming from lack of focus. Like, right. in my opinion, I think they're coming from a player playing out of control, maybe maybe trying to do what we're asking them to do. But at this point, at a speed or at a level they're not capable of, but that's like, we'll keep encouraging them to get there, get there. But most likely mistakes are coming from players being timid, holding back, second guessing. And I think that is directly related to the the response that they have either heard from us or feel like is going to come from us. So in in a big way, all the the mistakes that we have that, that happen in games and practices and how we deal with them, I, I think that directly contributes to the frequency of them. Yeah, and I, I tell myself and our staff and our players all the time, like, I don't think we've got selfish guys that want to lose. Like, I, I, if guys are making mistakes or somebody does something, maybe that wasn't the right shot or what, they're not doing it because they're trying to lose. They're not doing it because they're in, they're really selfish. It's, it's, they're trying to do right, and it just wasn't the right play. And so not turning it into a moral mistake, yeah. um, you know, and recognizing like, um, hey, this is this is something to learn from. Can we get a little bit better at making these decisions um, as opposed to, oh, he's so selfish. You know, we've got to avoid that type of language in our, you know, coming out of our, our mouths. I love the 2K board idea. We do a skill rating system here at Faith, but I don't have – I just have the the all time winning scores that can change and fluctuate in our hallway, but not a current board with all the guys and because and we'll do it a few times. Do you ever share that with other people as far as what you guys chart, how you do it, what the, do you do? Do you share that? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay. And and it it changes. I mean, we've tweaked it this year from last year a little bit because we're always trying analytics and measuring things of whatever type is always. Um, it's just one tool in the toolbox and you want to, what are the things that are really the most important? We don't have the ability to measure every single detail, um, but what are the things that most directly correlate to the big picture goal of what we're trying to do as a team? And so, you know, we've adjusted those, uh, the things that we measured um, year to year um, as we're always trying to tweak it and get it a little bit better. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.